Happy New Year. We are finally back in 2016 as well, picking up right where 2015 left off. That would be with another Jordan Spieth victory. This is the 22-year-old's seventh career win, matching Tiger Woods as the only player with that many victories before the age of 23. Incredible stuff from world number one, who won by eight strokes at the Hyundai Tournament of Champions with a 30 under par winning score. Yeah, that's right, 30 under par. So while Spieth continues to dominate that win column, Ricky Fowler, well, he continues to win in the fashion department. Fowler showed up in Maui rocking high tops and joggers made for the golf course. His fashion statement was certainly polarizing, but one thing's for sure, it got everyone talking, especially during the broadcast. Folks here, are those, are those high top golf shoes? You gotta get a closer look at those. Those high top shoes are trending on Twitter. Ricky Fowler with the high tops this week. With the pants and the elastic around the bottom, he said they could be a jockey, could be a baseball player, maybe running track. Never bashful about making that fashion statement. So many people, including us, spend a lot of time talking about Ricky Fowler, the way he dresses. I so I do like those shoes. You wanna grow the game? Youngsters, they're the ones that will buy those. It almost looked to us yesterday that uh, he was wearing ankle weights or something. He talked about his pants. They were jogging pants. Travis Mills just tweeted, Ricky's pants are called joggers. You guys sound so old calling them jogging pants. <laughs> and I got news for you're you. You're right, Travis. <laughs> we are old. <laughs> well, I can see you buying a pair at the end of the day. To play basketball in, but not golf. Come on. Yeah, people, they're just shoes. Come on. Patrick Rogers also made quite the fashion statement this past week when he and his girlfriend decided to challenge Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin to a pose off. My favorite part of this is how his peers summed up all of our feelings with Morgan Hoffman commenting, um, and Daniel Berger responding with a wow. Most hilarious pick of the week goes to John Peterson, who just underwent surgery to remove a ganglion cyst from his left hand, but did not forget his sponsors for even a moment, posting this on Instagram, saying, Titleist came out with sick headgear this year. Sick prototype. I think maybe the anesthesia was kicking in at this point. And most unbelievable photo of the week. Seriously, is this even real? Is it photoshopped? Can somebody confirm this photo? Well, it came from Bubba Watson. Well, out in the water in Maui, Watson, along with his caddy Ted Scott, Patrick Reed, and his guy Kessler, snapped the most perfect whale-watching photo, maybe of all time, if it's real. It is good to start off your year in Hawaii, people. That'll do it for the first trending on tour of the year. I will see you next Monday after the Sony Open in Hawaii.